be fucking serious. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Fuck it, we're just gonna play through it. After. You know, the go. They let me pick. They did. Did I ever tell you that? No, you didn't. Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. That's neat. You know me. I did my research. You did. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Yes. Like the others, you were strong and swift and brave. Well, thank you, Cortana. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Ow, fuck. Can you guess? Mm. No. Susan Whitney. Luck. Was I wrong? Uh oh. Okay, do I look good? Do I look good? Okay, we're gonna play Halo 1, but my microphone bugged out, so I just gave up. Holy shit, Master Chief! This ain't good. Keep hitting Damn. my mic, bro. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Johnson. Sergeant Avery Johnson. My mouse at. Where the fuck is my mouse at? Foreman, his armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. The fuck? I don't know, Sergeant Major. I'm a Moscow. Bro. Radio for Vito. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving him here. Yeah, you're not. Oh, crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. Where is she, Chief? There we go. Where's Cortana? Cortana. Don't make a girl a promise. I just met her. If you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. This is the first Halo game I ever played. Corporal, make it quick. Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. Mm -hmm. Look up here, sir. Okay. Now down here? Good. Everything checks out, Sergeant Major. It does. Take off the training wheels, Corporal. He's good to go. All right, it's not like I haven't been fighting for like years. It's not like I haven't played this game a billion gazillion times. Holy shit balls. Is that the Arbiter? That's the Arbiter. We've got enough to worry about without you two trying to kill each other. That is true. Were it so easy. Fuck's that supposed to mean you split lip bastard? We must go. The brutes have our scent. And they okay. must love the smell of green. They must love the smell of whoop ass. All right, we'll be playing this on the Halo Master Chief Collection because I'm not going on buying original game. Squad, you're my scouts. Move out, quiet as you can. These are all my controls, right? Yes, grenade. Let's crouch. No. No. Wait. Okay. 
Una mochilona. Now you may notice the crosshair is a little low. Destiny does that too. And if you didn't know, it's so you can see more of your screen while you're playing. Well, fun fact for you, fellas at home. We are in fact on Earth. Johnson, you be advised. Hostiles are on the move. Okay, it's really fucking bugging me. Again, Gunny, you're up. Screen tear? Everything's good. No sprint. Sergeant no Major. ADS. Phantom inbound. Everything's just as God intended. See that big old ugly thing over there? Hold on, we're not gonna we're not gonna push any. See that? That's a brute. They're space monkeys. They're pretty weak, though. Nice Unfortunately, this is the the easiest game in the franchise. That showed them. That's solely because, unlike the elites in the other games, the brutes don't have energy shields. Their armor just immediately shatters. He's right. Overcharge, baby! I should have probably killed him. So I'm thinking a mission a day. Mission a video, you know. Sorry for getting so close. Not normally I could hit headshots all day. Now, think about the Covenant's weapons. Most of them are plasma based. So, they have an eternal battery. Like the plasma pistol here, you can overcharge it to get it to home onto enemies. And then it um it can disrupt shields or just do a fuck ton of damage. I see the original game's boxer control style, which is what I typically use. You have to use the bumper to select stuff. So thanks to MCC, I can change that and actually make it comfortable to play. That's my only gripe with Halo 3, actually. Other than the brutes being a little too bitch easy. But they're better than they are on Halo 2. In Halo 2, they just made me want to kill myself. Sleepers. Take them out. Quiet as you can. See grunts? They like to take little naps. They sleep you little guys. Is there a weapon back here? You know, it's just a guy. Yep. These little... Little crab guys, crabby guys. Pretty easy to take out. I've never actually like taken out this many on this mission. Normally I just go in guns a blazing, just see what happens. Like this, but you know. Normally I don't do wield in this game because it kind of makes it fun because you can't melee. But you can still do combo like that, you know. Thankfully, this game has one gun that makes me not want to do a wield. It's a needler. What it does is it locks on. And if you hit enough shots, they explode. This is a jackal. You see, they have big ol' energy gauntlets. 
and if you hit them with kinetic weapons, such as the needler, the spiker right here, I'm gonna show you the spiker. The spiker right here, which is the brute's weapon, one of the brute's weapons of choice. Essentially, just shoots very, very hot spikes. Oh, you killed him! You bastard! But essentially, shoots big old iron. But the jackal, they're like little dinosaur guys. They look like little raptors. And they hold shields and stuff. And they're meant to be like the backup guys. It's pretty cool. The whole cover covenant hierarchy is pretty cool. In the original two games, um, it was the elites, which were pretty much the equivalent of the player. They could dodge, they had energy shields, they could melee, you know. They they played like a player. The grunts, they were fodder. They had strength in numbers. A lot just came in at once. And then the jackals, they were, um, they're the defense, you know? They stay behind. They stand behind their shield. And people like the, jet, the Brutes, they were originally shock troopers. Like, you just let them rush in and just beat the hell out of people. And that's what they did. Oh my god, woman jump scare. Could you sacrifice me to complete your mission? Could you watch me die? I might watch you die after doing that. Yeah, she does this a lot in this game. Which is another one of my, like, three things I don't like about this game. Is that Cortana... Doesn't really shut up much. Even though she's not even here. Because in the second game, you leave her behind. To take care of a greater threat that you'll see later in this series. Until then. Sorry for getting really close to the mic. I just really like this game. But, uh. Until then. That's pretty much how it worked. And then, in the second game, Jesus Christ. Bye. There's Johnson. He's in there. But essentially, in the original game, well, in the second game, uh, the prophets, which are the religious leaders of the covenant. The covenant's a religion, by the way. It's like, if the Catholics got a bunch of, like, spaceships and a bunch of different uh, species and just said you know it's our turn and their goal is to go to the halo rings and detonate them which they think will bring them to the great journey but in, in actuality uh, it's a super weapon that will re remove all white life in a certain range so, if you're in range of a halo ring, you're done. You're done in rings. So shooting at me. Oh, you little grunt. Little gremlin. Hee <laughs> hee. So, after that, the prophets, which are the leaders, they look at the elites and say, I don't want to play with you anymore. Yes, we can hear you, Johnson. Also, jackals can snipe. They're a really big problem in the second game because they just one shot you in legendary, which is the highest difficulty. I'm not playing on legendary because I'm not like that. I'm really not. Because I'm not good with the sauce like that. Oh, Halo 2 is hard. Save your fire for the boot. Come on, breakfast. You gotta catch it. I, I thought I would hit that clip, but um, essentially, the prophets deemed the elites as pretty much just worthless. After realizing, well, what if we just take the big strong guys, the brutes, just put them in charge? 
since evidently the elites kind of suck at their job because you know master chief's just like pushing through them like like a sand pit nah that chieftain's gonna be paying the ass later but um essentially the prophets kicked the elites out of the religion and had the brutes hunt them down well that's when the elites which are one of these guys joined our side now they're on our team trying to help us defeat the big boy bad guys Also, you get to like listen to these guys. It's pretty neat. What isn't pretty neat though is you know geometry in this game. A little strange sometimes. Wrong button. Forgot that's not my crouch button. Oh, what's my grenade swap button? Okay, it's bumper. Um, and then when that happened. Um. There were three prophets originally. Um, one of them Master Chief killed, and the other one. Okay, so hold on. Let me get a crash course. The prophets of truth, mercy, and regret. Right. Uh, badass names, by the way. Like those are the most fire names you can think of. Um. Essentially. He lets his brother get killed by the greater threat that, I'm t that I told you about earlier. And he does that so he can have all the power. And the prophets know that the Halo rings are super weapons. Which is why they're right now trying to get to a place called the Ark. Which is essentially the, um... That's his best start here, so I'm gonna explain. The Ark is essentially a big-ass detonator. So if they go there, they bring anybody they want there. Everyone there will survive everyone off is gonna die so you're gonna light off every halo ring in existence so our job right now is to go kill truth and stop the halo rings from being fired that's essentially the plot up until this point so now the brutes are the leading faction in the gov in the covenant and humanity is on their last stand this is why the game's tagline is finish the fight now let's continue watching See how they bait their trap? I will help you sprint. And the reason Johnson survived that kick is because he's actually one of the original Spartans. See, Master Chief's a Spartan too. He's a sequel. Heads up. If you can kill this guy early on, I'll have to deal with him later. Like that. Killing him essentially makes this level a cake walk. Um. But yeah. Now the ranks are, you know, minor, major. It doesn't really change for the the these guys they just kind of get stronger the higher rank but like special ranks like this guy jackal sniper you know he has a instead of a shield gauntlet he has a carbine so he can you know snipe you but like the grunts they don't they don't change in their ranks you got minor major and then a grenadier i believe or heavy they hold like uh essentially a alien rocket launcher you really thought you were gonna catch me like oh yeah grunts can also just commit suicide they can go allahu akbar and then pull out a bunch of grenades and then charge directly at you but um that's pretty much the lore up until this point. I mean, what you saw me kill earlier with the big-ass hammer, which I'm about to pick up right now, 
Give me the hammer. Give me the hammer. Flare. You're blind. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Bam. This is gravity hammer. Yes. Yeah. You know, sled, sledge elites. Um, hammer. This is what it's modeled after. Yeah, see all the goofy shit you can do with this? Hold on, check this out. You can launch yourself in the air with it, too. This isn't as fun as it looks. Cut the power. Alright, Johnson. Kilo two three, what's your ETA? Alright, they'll be here soon. Roger that, Hocus. Hey, Grunt. Nope. They don't even know. They have no idea. Also, headshots are pretty lethal in this game if you have a precision weapon. Weapons are classified under classes. Okay, so, things like assault rifles, submachine guns, spikers, needlers. Those are considered... Those are considered, like, spread weapons. So they don't have headshot multipliers. Weapons like the carbine here, it's a precision weapon. So it has a headshot multiplier. So that way you can hit devious one taps when you break armor or if it's a grunt or something. Nade. Now, another thing. Um. Grunts cannot overcharge their plasma pistols. However, the jackals can. Be gone, thought! Ow. Did you see him run and commit suicide? <laughs> there he is. Ah, you died. Oh, shit. That's a plasma nade. Pretty much a just stick. I'm gonna take an alternative route. I know my camera's right here, but I'm used to, like, streaming and having a chat right there. So I'm used to looking there. Ah, you're fucking dead. Ah, you're dead. Damn! These guns are just not having it today, huh? Here. Get some work in. Now the encounters are all the same, but the ranks change every now and again. Focus. Phantom. I see that's a that's a grunt heavy. They they fire like heavy cannons and stuff like that. And he's dead. He just got new. Yikes! You didn't need to do all that now. He was just a boy. Hey. Here's my favorite thing to do. Oh, hey, the arbiter's dead. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> he was not happy with me. Tell you that much. All right, now we're off to the crow's nest, which means we're off to the next episode, baby. Ha ha ha! Oh, you really? What? You thought I was gonna play I multiple missions at once? Contact is Bellic and dropship. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make you wait. Like from Minecraft Part Three, I'm gonna make you wait patiently. It's only like ten missions in this game, though, so I don't take too long. That's going to be it for today. Uh, episode of Halo 3. Ladies and gentlemen. That's not the right one. I want to see if I'm saved. But yeah. That's it for today, gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!